Hi, I'm Taylor, the stewardship assistant at the Whidbey Camano Land Trust. Today I am helping manage some knotweed, which is this little plant right back here. Uh, knotweed is a noxious weed that, as you can tell, kind of looks like bamboo. Um, if we go a little closer, you can see that there's some uh, markings on it, this reddish markings. And knotweed, fortunately for us, is actually not that bad on our Glendale Preserve, but we probably have a small patch that's less than 100 uh, stems, so we're mechanically removing it, which means we are snipping it at the base and um, letting, hopefully that's ideally the way to do a patch this size and the roots will die underneath and go away after a couple seasons of this cutting and we've actually already seen the patch reduce somewhat this size. Uh, one of the really interesting things about n knotweed and why it can be so invasive is if we once we remove it, if we don't take all the parts with us, if we accidentally let a leaf behind or part of the stem, or even worse if it gets washed up in the water, um, it will get taken somewhere along the banks and established somewhere else. So the Skagit River has really run into this issue on their banks where their knotweed um, started in a small area and parts of it got taken down the Skagit River and it just has now established along so much of the Skagit River's bank and outcompeted with so much of the natives. And um, unfortunately, not, we does not provide all, bank, all the bank stabilization we need or the nutrients that the different native wildlife needs. So it's really important to manage it. So that's not weed for you.